Hi, Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today, we're going to take a look at it and see what are their intentions towards you. So, for those of you that are romantically involved with someone, whether you're in a relationship or even if you're just loosely involved with um, this person, it doesn't necessarily um, matter all that much. So, as long as you are romantically connected with this energy, then we want to see what are their intentions with this connection, okay? What are their motivations? What, you know, are they hoping um, for the outcome to result in? It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I'm going to list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is, along with all the information that you will need. So, guys, let's go ahead and begin. Give the cards a shuffle. So we ask the question again, what are their intentions towards you? Okay, the Seven of Pentacles here has made its way out of the deck. The High Priestess here, the Two of Swords. The Two of Wands here, the Page of Wands. The Empress, but she's come up in reverse. So the Empress in reverse tells me straight off the bat that you are dealing with someone who's a little bit emotionally insecure, okay? This person is not someone who's very confident within themselves or within expressing their emotional um, energies and their feelings here. So from what I can see here, you are dealing with someone who is a little bit blocked, okay? His or her energy feels blocked. It's not necessarily that they're not open to exploring this connection or they're not open to um, exploring their feelings with you here. It's just that there is something here that's blocking their energies. Now, this could result from childhood trauma here. It could be a, a result from previous, you know, failed romantic relationships. It just could be something, it could be insecurities here that block their energy here. It could be certain traits, characteristics, or toxicities that they might have picked up along the way somewhere. I can see that their energy is blocked. That doesn't mean necessarily that their intention is not to progress things with you, or their intention is, isn't to build a connection with you. It's just that, simply put, this is more of a slower burning energy. And because of their emotional insecurities that are coming up, I feel like this person is, you know, is finding it a little bit difficult here to bring down their guard or to remove the emo the heavy emotional armor that they seem to be wearing here now the seven of pentacles does tell me that they want something serious with you okay and i feel like coming into this connection there for a lot of you their intentions were in the right place or still are in the right place and i feel like they are after a long-term commitment they are after stability here which can explain why their energy feels slow so slow moving or slow burning. I know it may frustrate some of you because you feel like, you know, this is your person or you feel like you're ready to progress things and you're ready to move things along. But you need to be patient with this person because I do feel like you have someone very special on your hand. And just because you're ready, it doesn't necessarily mean that your partner is going to be ready as well. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so it's important for those of you that are involved with someone and you feel like, you know, this person is creeping along at a snail's pace, understand that they want to be sure, okay? And they want their next relationship or their relationship with you here to be the last relationship, okay? They are after commitment. They are after stability here. So this is why they are taking their time here with their investments, their emotional energy, their physical, their mental, spiritual here. They do want to take their time and build on this connection here. Okay, so I don't feel like this is a fleeting presence here. They kind of give that of the impression that maybe when they were younger here, they might have, they might have, you know, got out there and played the field, and you know, there might have been a fluctuating presence in their 
younger days but I feel like they're now at a time where they want security they want stability within the relationship they want those things similarly they also want to offer you those things now the high priestess she is shrouded in mystery so whenever she pops up in a tarot spread to me it's like saying the outcome of this connection is not yet known purely because there is some sort of energy that I feel like clouds it's like it's, it's like a fogginess or a haziness that clouds and veils the future of this connection, okay? It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just that I feel like so many things are up in the air. I also feel like there are emotional insecurities. If they don't learn to deal with some of those, unfortunately, you can get the, be the best of them. So this is why I feel like this is what accounts for the fogginess. Because even you, you know, you're not sure. It's like, and you're, you're a water energy here, so you're quite an intuitive individual. So for you to not be able to intuitively try and guess or try and understand, you know, um, what are their intentions or motivations for this connection, even the fact that it's throwing you off is saying a lot. It's not to say that this person is unsure of their emotions, I just feel like this is someone who wants to take things slow and I feel like this person is in a, in a rush and I do feel like they're after, as I've mentioned, you know, long-term commitment and stability here and this is why they do not necessarily want to rush the process. They want to make sure that they're doing the right thing here with you and they're doing right by you. So, and, you know, they're coming into this with not necessarily preempting the outcome of this connection, you know, um, so they're sort of taking it one day at a time, which accounts for their slow nature. You might already, you know, be making wedding plans or you might already have plans in your head of moving in together, progressing the relationship, um, you know, cementing things, you know, making it Facebook official, whatnot. But this person, I feel like, is on a different playing field to you. They're a little bit, you know, they're a little bit slower moving here. Um, the two of swords here, I am also seeing some sort of decision or some sort of choice some some decision some choice around this person's energy here now the two of swords does tell me as we spoke about earlier he or she is a blocked energy um and there there are a little bit stuck in a sense so for a lot of you yes you are in a stagnated relationship with this person here so they need to look within their insecurities to hopefully get a few things unstuck so once they you know get unstuck the relationship will also get unstuck if that makes sense i feel like there's some sort of decision it's almost like Either this person is sort of, I feel like the reason why they're not in a rush also to, you know, enter into a relationship so quickly or to progress things or to even move in here is because I'm also seeing that there is something else that is taking up a lot of their time. And I feel like it's, this person is really working on their financial situation or building a career or making a name or like building a reputation for themselves. So I can see that that is sort of taking up a lot of their energy as well. And once again, because they're serious about this commitment here, they also don't want to rush this. So this is why I feel like they have a lot of commitments in their life. And and if they were going to enter into a relationship with you, or if they were going to progress things to the next level, again, you have to understand that they've got quite in, they've got quite a character, and they've got a lot of integrity to their character. So, you know, they believe that their actions here are reflective of their character. So again, they do want to do right by you and by themselves as well. So again, I don't feel like this person is rushing anything, because essentially the things you know, the, the actions that they take and the decisions that they make is a reflection of their character, their integrity here, their reputation, their loyalty, their dedication here. So this is why I feel like they want to take their time here. I'm seeing that there is going to be, I feel like there's going to be a lot of excitement, okay, and there is a lot of excitement building up around this connection here. I feel like there's quite an attraction. The both of you are very attracted to one another. Um, perhaps maybe the Page of Wands here is signaling that some of you may need to spend a little bit more time together just doing things that feel very fun and in the moment to sort of build on that relationship and just pull them in closer a little bit because I honestly feel like the two of you could really benefit from this. But for the most part, I do feel like you're embarking on some sort of romantic adventure here and I feel like the next couple of weeks or months or years with this person is going to be a very special journey here for a lot of you. Okay, guys, and so there you have it. That's your reading. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, um, liking, sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so do stay tuned and feel free to check out my other videos on the channel. Um, 
For those of you interested in a reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, take care, guys. Bye for now.